Ok, just a moment, porque ya me está conectando acá. Okay, now you can hear me, right? Yes, miss. Vale. Yeah. Sí, no sé qué pasó, me cerró de una vez la sesión acá y este, no sé, algo pasó. So, let's start with the attendance, okay? Now we are 29, así ya lograron ingresar todos prácticamente. Eh, déjenme buscar aquí la asistencia. Okay, so let's see, we have Alison Michelle. Present. Thank you. Andrea Berenice. Present. Thank you. Uh, Delbert Alcides. Delver. No está. Okay, thank you, Delbert. Uh, then we have um, Franklin Osmel. Present teacher. Thank you, Franklin. Kimberly Elizabeth. Present me. Thank you. Espérenme que voy a poner mute aquí. Alguien tiene activo el micrófono. Se escucha. Okay. Uh, Crisia Maricela. Present. Thank you. Okay. Leslie Marcela. Present teacher. Thank you. Lourdes Michel. No. Uh, Ludvina Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Luis de Jesus. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando. Present. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Eh, Be Maria Veronica. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Marina Celeste. Present. Thank you. Marlene Dinora. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Monica Esther. Present. Nice. Uh, Norman Bernie. I'm present, miss. Thank you, sir. Patricia Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Patricia Veronica. Present. Thank you. Rebecca Saray. Present. Yes. Um, Roberto Amilca. Present. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Rodrigo Vidal. Present teacher. Thank you, Rodrigo. Rosa Lidia. Present teacher. Nice. Samuel Alejandro. Samuel. Me confirma Samuel Alejandro, sí o no. Sandra Lisset. Sandra. No. Sonia Arely. Present. Thank you, Sonia. Valeria Esther. Present. Okay, Jancy Yvette. Present. Thank you. So, do I mention all of you? Okay. So let's start. 
let me let me let me let me share the screen and today is wednesday right so we are going to continue with the um, lesson number three remember that we are working in that lesson right now and so tomorrow we are going to finish okay this lesson so we have many things to cover but we will try to do as much as we can today so this is the homework right so yeah she ven mi pantalla right so this is uh the homework okay so let's see yo sé que algunos ya me lo mandaron otros todavía no lo han enviado pero vamos a ver so ahorita vamos a leer unos tres quizás para poder comenzar con my dream home okay let's see uh, Luis Enriquez, read your paragraph for your small paragraph about your dream home, please. Yes, my dream home. I think my dream home, it must be a, a small house across from a lake inside the forest. So I don't need more things in there only a stove, a bed, a table, chairs, and uh, a coffee maker machine. I like the coffee. Uh, <laughs> yes. And uh, I like the weather. Uh, in average, like 20 degrees. And uh, I think I need I need to be uh, so far on the other people so I don't I don't want the neighbors only that thank you. <laughs> okay, I like it. Nice, Luis. Okay, a, a nice and a, a special coffee maker because you are a coffee lover. <laughs> Okay, no neighbors. Okay, you don't need too many furnitures inside of the house, just the, you know, necessary themes. Definitely, okay, I agree with you. That's a nice dream home. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Let's thank see, you. no problem, thank you. Let's see, Rebecca Sarai, what about you? Read your uh, description, please. Uh, my dream home is a big large in a town. town perdón. There are five bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, and a big yard with a pool and many trees. Okay, okay, that's a huge house. Imagine with a pool. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you have to work very hard to get that car, that house. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, let's see who, Franklin Osmel. What about you, Franklin? Hola, Franklin, can you help us? Did you hear? Okay, excuse me, I okay. have a problem. Okay, okay. Um, so in my dream house is in the city. Um, it has three floors. And on the first floors, there is a large living room, a study room, a dining room, a kitchen, a garage, and bathroom. In the second, uh, two rooms. And on the third floor, a room, uh, which will be mine. <laughs> it will be a gamer room. In addition, I would like an um, underground floor that will be like a recording studio with uh, musical instruments and air conditioning. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. That's a big, it's almost a building. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's almost a building, but nice. Okay, because you will have everything in one and you will do your favorite themes, right? Frankly, nice. I like your style as well. Nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see, let's see. 
Luis de Jesús. What about you, Luis? Nice. Este, my dream home is a cabin on top of the mountain. There are three rooms. There is a bathroom, a dining room, and a bedroom. It has a beautiful view of the beach and beautiful landscapes. Only that, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect, Luis. Nice, okay. So you have to work hard to get a house in front of the beach, right? <laughs> no, son, no son nada baratas las casas a la orilla de la playa. So you have to work very, very, very hard, Luis. Nice. Yes. Uh, let's see, Patricia Gonzalez. Read your the, your dream home or your dream house. My dream house is a villa. Uh, there is a uh, two room and the uh, flowers in only. Okay, nice, Patricia. Just don't forget, Patricia, if you say that you will have two rooms, we will say there are. Okay, there is, it's just uh, for yes, one. Yes. Okay, there are, yes, there yes. are two rooms and everything. Nice. Okay, Patricia, thank yes. you. Nice. Uh, let's see, Patricia Veronica. Mm, my dream home is at the beach with a beautiful view at the ocean. Just a small house with three rooms, a kitchen, a pool, and a garden where my dogs can play and enjoy the song. Okay, perfect. Nice, Patricia. So I see that most of us, we are... Uh, we love to be, you know, in front of the sea or in the beach, right? So that's the perfect view that we have, that we need in our house. <laughs> okay, nice, Patricia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Maria de Los Angeles. Uh -huh, Maria de Los Angeles, that what would be your dream home or your dream house? Okay, <clears throat> ahorita. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. Okay. My dream house, I would like the house of my dream. To be made of wood and to be on a mountain surrounded by many trees and to have a light in front of it to be out of pitch and butter in it. Okay, okay, so that will be a huge, huge a house with many, many rooms to have all that uh, spaces that you weren't describing, but that's nice. Okay, nice. So let's continue, okay? Because of the time, so we have to move on on the uh, next activity. This is the, um, the, the last part of the lesson number two. That's the reading, okay? So we are going to uh, read very quickly these articles, okay? I'm going to read it just one time. And uh, if we have any new vocabulary or any new word, let me know. So this is um, two special houses in the American uh, Southwest. Scan the article, where is Mr. Mrs. Cisneros house? And where is Mr. Nelson housed? Okay, let's see what this one. It says, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch. 
with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mr. Cisneros house are bright or beige. So her house is very different. Some of the neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Miss Cisneros love it. Okay, nice. Imagine todas las casitas ahí de colores blancos mm -hmm. o colores suaves, right? Y esta casa es morada, verde. Yes, okay. Yes. And uh, different colors. Okay. The floor is pink. But that's nice. It's a unique house. Uh, ¿Alguna new work o algo que no quede muy claro en, esta, en este pequeño párrafo? Hmm. Let's see, vamos a hacer un par de preguntitas aquí. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who. Déjenme ver, no me aparecen más. Los demás, los demás. Aquí está. Uh, let's see, Kimberly, Kimberly. Ok. Uh, what is uh, Miss Cisneros' uh, profession or occupation? She is a writer. Perfect, she is a writer. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Sonia Areli, Sonia Areli. Where is Miss Cisneros from? Where is Miss Cisneros from? Or what is, yeah, what is uh, her origin? San Antonio, Texas. Sonia? Si yo le digo a usted, where are you from? Okay, in this case, where is she from? You are on mute. No le escucho, este Sonia, no se le escucha el audio. Ya activo el micrófono, pero no le... No se escucha. Ve ahí su headset. I don't know. Veo que sí habla, pero no se le escucha. O al menos yo no le escucho. Sí, no, no se le escucha. Ok. I, I know that you have the answer. Ok. No problem. Try to make sure that you have your audio. Ok. Let's see. Leslie, Marcela. Where is she from? She is Mexican. Mexican. Sorry, yes, she is Mexican American. Okay, so probably her parents are one from Mexico and the other from American, right? That's why she has the the, the combination of two. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Uh, let's see, uh, Marlene, where is the colorful house from for for from Miss? Cisneros, what is it? What is located? It's purpure. I'm sorry? Purpure. Yeah, but look, listen to the question. Where? Where is located this purple or colorful house? Where? In purple. No. It, it is. It's purple house mm -hmm. yeah this is a colorful house but my question is where is located okay let's see no problem let's see andrea berenice where is located this colorful house i'm sorry andrea Okay, veamos, veamos. Uh, okay. Let's see, Crisia Maricela. Where is located this colorful house? Where? It's in, 
It's in San Antonio, Texas. Perfect. Thank you. Where? Ya más adelante les traigo una imagen de las WH questions. Si yo le digo, where is donde? Where is located? Donde está ubicada esta colorful house? Ok, so let's continue. Ok, por el tiempo no podemos continuar más preguntas. Ok, let's read the other paragraph. Ok, vamos a leer el otro. Dice, uh, every year many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called uh, home games. Uh, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her account. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mr. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Okay. Okay. Imagínense que lo inviten a usted a esa cueva, diríamos nosotros, right? So, but that is how the uh, tribes, okay? Las tribus, okay? Native American tribes. Era como ellos vivían, dice ahí, right? So, that's why um, it, is, it is like that, okay? So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, Rodrigo, where is this uh, weird house located? Where is it? Rodrigo? Where is? Where is located this? Where is located? Okay, no problem, Rodrigo. Let's see, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, where is this uh, weird house? It's called, it says it's called uh, Huggins. Huggins. Uh -huh, Miguel Angel. Where is located? Where is located? Mm -hmm. Luis Enriquez, Luis Enriquez, where is located this weird house? In Arizona. Okay, it's in Arizona. Okay, it's in Arizona. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Bernie. Bernie, 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 no lo veo, pero por aquí está. Quiero ver a dónde lo vi. Bernie, uh, let's see, Bernie. Um, what is uh, Mr. Uh, Nelson uh, occupation? Bernie? Okay, let's see. Monica is there. Ayúdele, no sé qué se hizo Bernie, pero lo acabo de ver. Okay, ajá. Uh -huh. Monica, what is teacher? Okay, complete answer. He is, he is, he is he a teacher. Is a teacher. Okay, he is a teacher. Okay, let's see. The last question. The last question will be for. No me quiten las cámaras, no me quiten las cámaras, que ya no los veo. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Jancy. Jancy, Jancy, Jancy. Um, let's see. Why, why Mr. Nelson has this house? Why? Some people stay in the traditional native, okay. native American homes. Okay, that can be. Okay, remember that when I say why, le estoy preguntando por qué, right? Why? Por qué Mr. Uh, Nelson has this 
house. ¿Por qué tiene él esta casa así tan extraña? Right? So that would be because he teach okay, about the American, Native American tribes. Okay? Él le da clases de cómo mm. ellos vivían. Right? So that's why he has this house. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, we have to move on uh, with the next uh, part in the presentation, and this is the uh, lesson objective. Okay, so it says by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary. Yes, uh, Go disculpe, ahead. Eh, yo tengo una duda en, en ese mismo ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, eh, exactamente en la lección. 2.12 que no me salen las dos últimas y ya las puse de acuerdo como pues me la pide pero no no siempre no, me aparece incorrecto sí no sé si los demás es, han tenido es, ese problema casi siempre es el orden ayer parece que lo mencionamos de que es el orden de cómo se ponen las um, de cómo se ponen las las back, o sea no está como en el orden correcto Creo que alguien mandó por ahí una imagen. Deje ver si se la encuentro. Porque yo sé que usted está poniendo las respuestas correctas. Pero lo que, lo que está malo en sí es el, el orden. No sé sí, si... No, de, de hecho yo lo revisé también. El, eh, la foto que mandaron al grupo. Pero también así no me sale. Pero son solo las dos últimas. Uh -huh. Ni, así sure. como está acá. Sí, así lo puse Ese también. problema pasaba anteriormente. Pero lo que nos recomendamos los tengo es que volviéramos a cargar la página y, y luego escribiéramos la respuesta. Porque a veces uh -huh. eh, las páginas almacenan demasiado cacheo, demasiado cookies, y eso hace que la página no, no, no reconozca. Responda. A lo mejor sí. Ajá. Y Cher, a veces influye el uso de mayúsculas donde no deben de ir. O... Definitivo. Mm, sí, Ajá. igual yo eso lo revisé, pero tampoco no me aparece. Sí, sí. Incluye el apóstrofe, pero el apóstrofe ah, en los teléfonos a veces aparece el que está inclinado y es el que está rectecito, el que agarra eh, el apóstrofe. Sí, eso podría haber. Trate de cargarlo porque no es que usted lo tenga incorrecto, sino que es este... Eh, la plataforma en sí, que un espacio, una mayúscula da error. Ok. Sí, ok, teacher, gracias. Bueno, bueno, eh, let's continue. Ok, so dijimos acá, right, el, el, el model objective, it says, by the end of this uh, class, you will uh, learn vocabulary for uh, common jokes. Ok, this is a job. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Ok. Si ustedes ven en su libro, en su manual, ahí hay una, una pequeña lista, unas imágenes de profesiones, ocupaciones, empleos, trabajos, right? So, yo he puesto otros acá. Usted va a ver en la presentación otros. Usted va a decir, ¿y esto por qué si no están en el libro? So, I put more, okay? In the book, we have a few, okay? But I put more right here. Me gustó esta imagen que encontré por ahí. Y aquí hay bastantes, ok, jobs and occupations, ok, jobs and occupations. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me close the window porque está lloviendo y escucho mucho ruido. Deme un segundo. Ok, I'm here. So, as I told you, esta imagen va a estar diferente a lo que usted ve en, en su manual, pero es este extra information for you. Ok, so, ocupaciones, ok. De esto vamos a hacer una actividad que probablemente va a ser la tarea que nos va a quedar, pero les comento después. So, we have right here a teacher, ok. We have a soldier, soldier. We have a scientist. Scientist, we have a waiter, waiter, we have a waitress, okay? So in this case, waiter sería mesero, y waitress sería si es una mujer, sería mesera. En español, para nosotros es mesero, mesera, right? 
En inglés cambia un poquito el, la forma de escribirlo, pero that's the meaning, right? Mesero, mesera. This is a worker. Ok, un, puede ser un trabajador de estos de construcción, right? So, worker. We have a painter. Painter, we have a policeman. Este de policeman está, look, policeman and policewoman. Ok, nosotros no decimos policía. Los dos son, le decimos policía, sea hombre o mujer, right? But in this case, policeman and policewoman. Van a ver en otros libros que dice police officer. Oficial de policía, right? Police officer. So, both are correct. We have a cleaner. Ok, cleaner. Este en algunos libros usted lo va a encontrar como janitor. Ok, el janitor es como el conserje. Nosotros no decimos conserje, la verdad, pero si usted lo traduce, viene siendo así, va, conserje. Acá le han puesto cleaner, que es el que anda limpiando. Nosotros le decimos, por ejemplo, el de mantenimiento, right? El que anda por ahí barriendo, limpiando, ordenando. Nos, normalmente decimos nosotros la persona de mantenimiento. So that would be the cleaner or can be the janitor. Más que todo, janitor va a ser como, por ejemplo, el que está haciendo la limpieza en una escuela, en una universidad, y andan haciendo muchas cosas, no solamente limpieza. Ok, el de mantenimiento. We have a cook. Cook. We have a doctor. We have a driver. We have an engineer. 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 Explorer. Explorer, no es el trabajo que galan fuera tener un trabajo de explorador. <laughs> Explorer, right? That's a different job in a different country. Farmer, okay, farmer. Okay, estos son los que trabajan en ganadería, right? Con los animalitos, so that would be a farmer. Uh, fireman. Acá dice fireman, pero usted también en algunos libros lo puede encontrar como fire fire. Fire, fire, como apagador de incendios, right? Fire, fire, okay? So, but in this one, it says fireman. We have a footballer, okay? Footballer, we say soccer player, okay? Jugador de fútbol, right? Soccer player. Aquí le han puesto foot, uh, footballer, pero puede ser a uh, football player, jugador de fútbol, okay? So, questions about these pictures, las primeras que llevamos. ¿Alguna duda en alguna pronunciación? Meaning? ¿Estamos bien? All is okay, teacher. Perfect. So, I have more. Tengo otra, pues, otro poquito por aquí. Okay, let's see. We have more right here. We have a hairdresser. Ok, el estilista. Nosotros no decimos el casi el estilista, decimos voy a ir donde el peluquero, donde la, la, a la sala voy, así decimos nosotros, right? voy a la sala de belleza, right? So that would be the cosmetóloga, ok, that would be the hairdresser, hairdresser. Uh, then we have right here housemaid, housemaid. En algunos libros usted va a ver que dice housekeeper. Housekeeper, ok, housemaid or housekeeper. Ese es alguien que llega a hacer la limpieza específicamente a una casa, right? No es como el, el cleaner, que es de como de un lugar, o sea, de mantenimiento, right? Uh, let's see, then we have a judge. Judge, judge. Ok, este es el juez, ok, el judge. Uh, we have a lawyer. Lawyer, 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 el que le lo saca de la prisión, right? A lawyer. So we have a musician. A musician. Musician. I'm a musician. Who? Me, teacher. Who say me? I don't see the, the camera. Franklin. Franklin. Oh, yes. Okay. So you are a musician. Oh, my God. Se fue la luz. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Sí, se me fue la electricidad, tuve apagón, pero ya regresó, pero se me va a descolgar, se me va a colgar el inter. Oh my God, this is so crazy. 
pero I'm here, pero voy a activar la cámara para que me vean. Ok, so... Ya voy a conectar nuevamente acá la computer, ok? 